What's up guys? John here and I'm with my Titan family. Woo. Drew, Amanda, obviously my beautiful wife Sharice. Yeah. Stacy has made a guest appearance hey, in the house. And we're here at the Ocean Center down in Daytona. Yeah. The Daytona Classic presented by Titan Medical Center. So we're gonna go in there. We're gonna see what this show is all about. I know it's an awesome, good time. Like last year, it was a blast. So we're gonna go in here and see what's up. Check out the competitors and show you guys what Titan Medical Center is all about. Yes. Feel good, look good, and perform better. We service nationwide and we help out with a variety of things from hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, peptides, and a lot, lot more. So 
So we want to help you guys out, stay healthy, perform your very best, and look your very best. Okay, if you guys don't know, we do have a booth over there, so you better go and get yourself a nice shirt. Um, and if you do need to contact us, 727-389-3220, or you can visit us at www.titanmedicalcenter.com. We do service nationwide again, so we are here to help. Thank you guys again. Yes, Teladoc is the best. To be able to Skype in and FaceTime in, and if you're even five minutes behind, which you never are, I'm waiting in my own house. Daytona Classic presented by Titan Medical Center. We had an awesome time, had the Titan family with us. The competitors all brought awesome packages. It was really, really an exciting show. New location, so big shout out to the promoters, Mike and Tony. Thank you guys for having us as the title sponsor, and we're really looking forward to next year. We'll see you guys next year. See you later, guys. What's up, guys? John here from Titan. And I want to share with you guys the easiest, simplest way to get our new patient paperwork. It's really easy. Just pull out your smartphone, open the camera settings, and point directly at the QR code. Once you do that, it's going to direct you right to our new patient paperwork where you can fill it out online through your smartphone, your tablet, your desktop, or you can go old school, print it up, fill it out, send it back to us, fax it back to us, or even email it back to us. It's really up to you. We want to make sure you guys are looking your best, feeling your best, and performing at optimal levels daily. Who doesn't want to lose some weight, gain some lean muscle mass, maybe step it up in the bedroom, more energy, more focus? It's real simple and easy. Our medical providers can customize a regimen of our Titan Medical Center therapies that will help you achieve and reach your goals the healthiest way possible. So don't delay, guys. Pull out that smartphone, open the camera settings, point at the QR code, fill out the new patient paperwork, and become part of the Titan Medical Center family today. I'm John from Titan, and I know our Titan family is looking forward to having you as our patient. What's up guys, John here, and I'm with my Titan athlete, it's becoming a star real quick, the real Lois Lane, aka Rachel Daniels. Hey, what's up everybody? So we're back with our fourth interview here. I know, it's, we're on a roll. It's, it's, it's been a wild ride, that's a three-peat so far, because if you guys have tuned in, or if you haven't tuned in, she's won three in a row right now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Patrick. This, this is exciting. This yeah. is really exciting. It's wild. You know, because there's a little bit more to go. So we're going to get into that here in a second. Um, so if you haven't watched or you do know, you know that she's won Tampa Pro. Yes. She's won Nationals. Yes. Right? To get her pro card. Ba ba bam. And then, she, you know, the week afterwards, she said, you know what? I'm going to go into one of the most prestigious shows in bodybuilding, which is the New York Pro. What does she do? <laughs> she wins it all. <laughs> which qualifies her for Olympia. So on to the next stage. It's been a Cinderella season so far. The big O, yeah. It's been wild. I'm still trying to uh, take it all in. Uh huh. But um, you've been calling it, so that's why we're back here. We got to do right. another interview. Get that's your right. get your Buddha blessing again. That's right. Before we, the big O, we got to do that. You know, it, the, Olympia is a huge thing, and and you know, people become pros, and and even the pro lifespan of that time, they don't go to Olympia. You know, it's a point based system, or you got to win overall. To really get there because they want the best out of the best in the world right right so you know i've been in this industry for a while now and i've seen a lot of different things 
Uh, and Rachel definitely brings not only the physique, the conditioning, uh, she also brings that, that charisma on stage. Yeah. yeah. For real, you know? A lot of people can't get that. They can get the body portion, diet, all that, but that charisma, I think you're just born with it at that point. Yeah. So it's really, really cool. She got a lot of swag. And a lot of big things have been happening. It's been happening real quick to you, right? Yes, definitely very fast, but um, I've been planning for this, so I'm, I'm handling it pretty well, and yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. I work the best under pressure, so... Right. It's all blessings right, right now. Right. Yeah. So big thing. So this last weekend, we're in a Titan Medical fashion show. So Rachel rocked that. Uh, she had a really, really cool. There's videos out there. If you guys want to see her rock that down the runway, very, very cool. <laughs> She's had some awesome interviews already. Muscular Development was just recently. Yeah, I did Muscular Development, Wings of Strength, uh, a couple other ones. And this one's my favorite, obviously. Oh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, here we are. I'm getting working on my public speaking skills a little bit <laughs> sorry becoming high in demand very fast so it's really really awesome we're exactly. glad to be and proud to have her as part of the titan family oh thank you um team titan and uh you know we knew she was going to do it so we know for a fact that uh olympia is one of the you know that's who the best in the world is so once you have, have the olympia tile you pretty much can stick with that your whole life right um i i'm gonna predict it i think rachel daniels i know <laughs> rachel daniels is gonna win She's going to win, and I'm going to call it again for the fourth time. So, you know, maybe I should go to Vegas, go yes, on with you, and maybe yes. gamble if I can get this. <laughs> if she wins afterwards, you know, I'm going to place a couple thousand, ten thousand dollar bet, and I don't gamble. So, you know, I either know what's going to go on or I got it in my pocket. And at that point, I don't gamble. So, I'm really excited about this. Thanks. It's thanks. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So, well, I mean, obviously, any changes you think are going to go on? You know, diet, training? Yeah, so we're, we've got about three months at this point. Um, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of time in the bodybuilding we're in prep world. Um, but at the same time, it's not. You know, I need to, I'm going to take advantage of it as mo much as I can. Um, right now, this month, we're pretty much just going to grow as much as we can mm -hmm. before we start having to cut down. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, I'm already in a pretty good space so we're not going to get too crazy and um try to get too huge and do too much food and then have, make it really hard to come down um mm -hmm. so really just going to put an emphasis on my training um growing my upper body as much as i can keep the same conditioning that i came with not any more conditioned because then we'll start getting into like bodybuilding and cross striations and that could hurt me um but yeah i'm like i'm, I'm getting a lot of food my training's back in swing so oh, yeah. Everything, you know, my team, um, I'm getting to hang with my Titan family now that I'm not, you know, <laughs> doing a show every day. But uh, so everything's really good at this point. I'm really hopeful. I, I think I do have a good chance of at least top five. Um, and obviously we're we're going we're going with the hopes of winning. We're so. going in. With <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah. Right so everything's really great. Awesome. You got killer instinct in Rachel. So at that point, yeah, I, I know she's going to go in there. She's going to represent. She's going to look great. And that's the thing, like. New York Pro is like a pretty, and it's a pretty good like vision of like, all right, this person is probably one of the best out there. So at that point, if you win first place and overall on that, I mean, you know, what, what do you really want to change? You know, at that point, so just a little bit bigger, not going to do anything crazy, which is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Training wise, anything different? You think? Um, yeah, we're just tra kind of training. Um, I'm training upper body a lot more in this prep. Like I said, my my legs are pretty much fine. Um, so I, I, I usually only hit legs once a week anyways, but as far as my rep schemes and stuff, we're doing a little more, um, low, I guess I'd say lower reps, heavier weight, but okay. making up for the, the volume in the rep scheme by adding a lot of tension and, and pause reps and things like that, lower rest between the sets. Um, mm -hmm. And that just is going to allow me to train my upper body more and, and recover a lot better. So, um, obviously, I'm using my Titan therapies, which still no problems with. They definitely are helping me um, stay healthy. I haven't got sick, knock on wood, yeah, right? <laughs> this whole year. Definitely so want to knock on something there, especially with everything going around. Yeah, and then I'm going to start getting back on my BPC-157, which mm -hmm. I've used in the past because I have a hamstring issue. It's just kind of like an overuse issue. So when it gets a little too funky, especially with me posing a lot, mm -hmm. um, I like to do a round of that. Right. And um, so that's always a, a, a savior. That's a great therapy to check out if anyone's having um, issues like that that I utilize as well. And then I'm always on my glutathione and my Titan Complete. Those are my, 
my go-tos as well. So yes. that's uh and the Hercules pump. That's which, tra- training come on. for sure. You can't, you can't go without it. Yeah, definitely before training and before stage, it's been like super, super cool to use and just be a part of um, every show I've been doing. It's, yeah. it's, it's sick. It's cool. It's awesome. We found the formula. She's dialed in. Yeah. I'm excited. So Olympia is just going to be another, another, uh, Another one underneath your belt, hopefully, and hopefully another yeah. win. And if we do that, uh, for sure, we'll go to Disneyland. <laughs> for sure. So it's going to be good. So I'm really excited. We're going to bring Rachel probably back before Olympia. Obviously, it's three months. There's a lot of time in between. She might have some more information for you guys, have some other cool things she's been doing or will be doing at that point. So you guys stay tuned, all right? So this is interview number four, Rachel Daniels. She's already had the three-peat, <laughs> on to the fourth one. Okay. You heard it first, right here at Titan Medical Center. Super proud of you. Thanks. Excited. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. So stay tuned and make sure you're following our athlete, Rachel Daniels, a.k.a. Lois Lane. Hi, everyone. I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Just want to kind of touch base with you today and let you know why female hormones are so important to be evaluated and monitored, especially if you're experiencing symptoms that you may not really understand or um, see how it can be affected by hormones in the body. So hormones do play a very important role in the way that you're feeling and they do all kind of work together um, in conjunction to help regulate and balance each other within the body. So many times patients just feel really tired, weighed down, bloated, fatigued, have low sex drive or libido, and they just kind of think maybe it's stress-related or something going on. And oftentimes, sure, it could be, but other times it's not. And you don't always know that unless you get your hormones evaluated to see what's really going on within the body. Certainly other medical conditions can also play a role in regulation and balance of these hormones, um, which you may not even be aware is taking place in the body. Um, So the best thing that you can do is to check your hormones, let us know how you're feeling, and see how we can help. What's up guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, this week... We're going to cover, you know, some things, and I think this is really in the beginning of relationships. So for all you beginners out there, all you people that are looking for relationships, these tips and tricks are going to be designated for you guys, okay? Or if you have to go back in that world of dating and stuff like that, this will help you. Okay, so every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. Um, You know, whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. And that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Because we have went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts and the answers to most of you guys' questions that maybe are unanswered, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. (laughs) So, we're gonna cover two tips and tricks for you guys this week. Uh, And the first one is, introducing your partner right Mm. so i am at fault for this in the Mm -hmm. beginning of our relationship i (laughs) we would be talking or go up to somebody that i knew or whatever and at that point i wouldn't introduce sharice right away how dare you um you know (laughs) and it (laughs) was i look like yeah it wasn't that i I didn't want to introduce sharice as my partner or show her off as my girlfriend or whatever it was at the time it was you know it was either Honestly, I was just in passing. I thought I was just gonna be, hey, how you doing? And, and, and walk right by, or I, I in, in all honesty, I might have not remembered these people's names at that point in time. Mm-hmm. I felt embarrassed at that because I don't like that. I usually remember people's names and faces, but there are have been some circumstances where I, I don't yeah. know who the hell I'm I talking mean, in, to. I mean, in that in that those particular circumstances, I made sure that John <laughs> was able to remember their names because then I would introduce myself. I would just. And I'd be like, hi, I'm Sharice. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> and then I would do this thing and shrug his shoulder. And that would be like my cue as, are you kidding me right now? Oh. 
<laughs> so it's like, okay, you gotta, you gotta start thinking now. Okay, all right. So why did he not introduce me, right? And all kinds of things, especially us crazy women, we think all kinds of crazy things, right? Whether uh, oh, he must be ashamed of me. Uh, this might be somebody that he likes. It might be a female. Now this was the worst thing for a female, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in this episode. But it was the worst thing when he did this with a female friend, and the reason why was because I was just like. Do you not want them to know that you're with me? I mean, because then this the, this led to more problems, more problems, because then they didn't know. And then if something happened, let's just say that they happened to get a little extra feely that day. Never. They wouldn't have known that Never. I was his girlfriend. That's not true, okay? So <laughs> at that point in time, there was social media. It was like Facebook at the time. That was a big thing. And we were in MySpace, too. We were in oh, MySpace. MySpace. So MySpace sure originally in yeah, our MySpace relationship. So, yeah. you know, your top eight, your top 16, where Therese was number one on that. Mm -hmm. And people knew my, her pictures were on my page and stuff like that. So, I, And I was in a relationship with Therese <laughs> once we decided that. So at that point, I was not trying to hide anything. Now, maybe <laughs> some guys do. I, I don't know. You know, there's, there's differences in guys out there in the way they treat their girls or way that they act mm -hmm. so at that point i can't stick up for everybody but i know for myself because i lived the the you know the person the minute to minute uh situation that we we're in at that point so at that point i i just really 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 want to make sure that you guys don't do this don't make the mistake that i did right yeah, that Learn was a good topic that he came up with today because that was a huge deal with us and yeah. i want to say i mean it didn't last forever thank god because i mean when i tell you even after he would introduce me because i would do the shoulder thing after it was it was it, you might as well have not because i had to do the shoulder thing i had to do the shoulder thing so we go home and we fight about it people fight yes See, we fought. Yep, yep, we fought yep, every yep, once yep, in a yep, blue yep, moon, you yep, know. Yep, yep. But this was, you know, that was one of my biggest pet peeves yep. because, you know, he would run into a friend that he's known for 10 years, okay? You would think, oh, here, this is Cherise. Oh, no. I mean, you can't even say this is Cherise. You don't even have to say, this is my girlfriend, Cherise. This is my wife, Cherise. This is my fiance, Cherise. It doesn't matter. This is just Cherise. Instead, it was like he's like literally, because he's such a big guy even then, he would like like step over me and be like what's up and i'm like hello <laughs> am i like a shadow on the wall hi i'm over here <laughs> who can miss her okay hello come on either way i didn't have to introduce her you know yeah you did uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys learn from this mistake move on past it if you guys do argue fight about this learn from the mistake out there whether you're a guy or a girl because I've, I've seen this happen on girls too mm -hmm. right same thing um so at that point learn from your mistakes move on grow right and you guys will be a stronger couple you guys will stop arguing about this and you guys will be happier mm -hmm. hopefully in this section mm -hmm. anyway so the next thing is including your significant other or a person you're dating or whatever it is um you know, in your activities with your friends, mm -hmm. what you're doing out, you know, let them, you know, know, unless you're embarrassed, you got something to hide. You really do want them to meet your friends or your family and you want them to like them, hopefully, uh, at that point. So it's smooth, you know, what's going on every day to day. Mm -hmm. um, and you're not worried about what they're doing out there. And, and you know, it, it really does show a big step in the direction of a relationship if you do include them. And For sure. They feel like they're included. They're happier about that. They don't want to wonder what's going on or What's he doing or why hasn't he included me with this? Yeah, or why, why wasn't doesn't he I do this? invited? Now, I didn't do this. No, so he didn't. I, I'm, not, I'm not guilty of this. <laughs> but, uh, so, you know, at that point, you guys should make sure that you guys are because that's what a relationship is. You guys are building together and you guys are growing together and you guys want to have the same interest <laughs> as each other, mm -hmm. right? Because this will make a relationship stronger. You guys will have more things in common. You guys will like the different things and hopefully you become stronger with their friends and their family. Now, if the friend doesn't like you, Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, this has probably happened to everybody out there. Uh -huh. You know, at that point, that's happened to us too. You, you can't let that get in, inside your relationship. It's going to be you two versus the world. Hey, that was us in the beginning too. It, it was people try to separate us. I, I mean, no big time for sure. Especially with like you know him being Greek and I'm not Greek. So you know, with us not you know not him not marrying into a Greek, it was a pretty big deal. And it was everybody. And I, I hope they all see this episode. Okay? What's that big deal? Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. So I hope we all see this episode now because I'm sitting here <laughs> <laughs> just saying made it through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but.
but it was a beat down city, you know? And I really think that you, that honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. Sure. That is the truth. Sure. It is the truth. For really. sure. You guys will go through these, these bonding experiences, whether they're good or bad. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys will have this experience together and that will bring you closer one way or another. Mm -hmm. You know, even if at the end you guys don't like each other to that point, you guys went through this experience and you guys have shared this. It's still a bonding experience. So, yeah, it was, it was just crazy. So make sure you guys are including them. Make sure you guys are having the same interests or trying to try to develop the same interests. I was going to say, because even if you yeah. don't, let's just say that he invites you, let's just say, to a football game, right? right. And let's say you don't like football. You could not include yourself and not go. That's fine, too. Right. Um, or you can just go and try to enjoy your time with one another right. or the group of friends that he's with. Right. Maybe you don't like one of his friends. That happens often, too. This is true. Now that, I, I mean, yeah. Like the girl friends. Yeah, you know, it's, that happens all the time, true. right? Whether, you know, he, oh, he doesn't like me, she doesn't like him, whatever it might be. And then you just have to adapt because it's, you know, it is what it is regardless. So whether you, I, I can't even remember how many times I've said it. Yeah. Whether you like me or not, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so you better learn to like me. <laughs> That's what it is too. I mean, you know, you don't want uh, outside influences coming inside mm -hmm. your relationship. Mm -hmm. That's why, I, you know, I think we've talked about it before. Maybe we'll cover it again, you know, about outside influences. You telling them kind of what's going on in your relationship or making the the partner seem really really bad in that circumstance because you're upset with them or they've done something wrong and mm -hmm. you just don't like it at that point in time but you might have feelings that change and in those feelings when they change then you're you're going to be telling your your friend and they're going to be like no he's a bad dude or a girl you know she's whatever bad. it is yeah she's yeah. bad and, and it just is what it is and you're going to be facing an uphill battle mm -hmm. and it's just better not to do that try to settle your differences between you guys keep it in the house in the mm -hmm. home you know unless it's abusive or anything like that don't do that but right. You know, if it's if it's just regular quarrels or you're going to have arguments, every healthy relationship will have arguments. Mm -hmm. It just is what it is. You have to, you know, find a common ground, compromise, get over it, and move on and progress. So these are just two tips and tricks. And I guess, you know, you know the second tip and trick goes along for all relationships, too. As oh, well. for sure. And for the sure. first tip and trick goes along for all relationships, <laughs> too. Because I do know some husbands out there. They have been with their mm -hmm. wives for who knows how true. long, I, okay? I, Let's just say they yeah. don't go out all the time together yeah. like me and John do. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they have this wonderful event they go to together. Yeah. And because he's never with her, yeah. he forgets. Yeah. He's like, oh, just forgot. Yeah. Don't forget. Yeah. Or okay? you're usually never with me, honey. <laughs> That's a totally good excuse. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so you oh guys learn from the mistakes that maybe we've made or other people have made. Take it into your knowledge using your arsenal. So this has been another Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice. Yes. You guys make sure you tune in to us every Sunday, ABC, if you guys are here in Florida, 11 a.m. Or you guys can find it on our YouTube page, Titan Medical Center, or our Facebook page, okay? Titan Medical Center. You guys can see us. Every week with a new Cupid's Corner, bring you guys these awesome tips and tricks that you guys can utilize to benefit your relationship and spark and ignite that flame that maybe has went low or dim or maybe out. All right, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you again. See you next Sunday.